heavenly father for shining your light on me i want to thank you my viewers for coming out hanging with me it's a family affair it's a family affair Thank you for coming back to the channel that is Deb Snell's 48th World, where we get down in the entertainment celebrity news. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We got another hot video for you all today coming from OK Magazine. Lord, Lord, Lord. Kenya Moore done got into it with this man, <coughs> excuse me, I think in 2016 or somewhere around that time. When it was, um, I think he's on uh, watch, watch What Happened Live and the Coin Show. Now, you know, you get, you get set up when you go over to Watch What's Happened Live because Andy Coin ain't holding no balls. Okay. He's going to ask whatever he wants and he's going to say, Well, you know, a commenter or a fan, you'll want to ask this question. I'm like, No, Andy, you don't set up, devise your questions. You don't snuck them in there along with some other emails that. Fans or viewers of the Real Housewives of Atlanta show wanted to ask. Come on now. Come on. Everybody know how Andy get down. They ain't stupid. But anyway, he brings the good out as well as the bad. But mostly he be bringing the bad and putting you on the spot. And you either going to sit up there on live TV and show us your real color. Oh, you're going to get him straight. <laughs> you're going to get him straight, the audience straight, and then any other commentator that want to get straight at the time, you're going to do it. Okay, it has been done. It has been done by other supporters of the show or other guests of the show. They went and showed their ass and, and, and show Andy where they were coming from, okay? It may not be as bad, but it just is what it is. It made history of that taping. Okay, one for the books. But anyway, we used to tell you more getting into it with black women, okay? Not all women, black women. All right? Because that's what they've been giving us on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, when did she go trying to mess with the Caucasian man, the white man, the man itself? Okay, when did she go over and try to keep, continue having a beef with a man? She a woman. That means she know about women stuff, women fights. We get catty here and day, here at night. Okay? But what she know about fussing with a man? A white man and that. A Caucasian man. Okay, I don't understand. They don't run in the same circles, but yet they still have this love-hate relationship about themselves. I secretly think he likes Kenya. That's pretty much what I get. He like that black piece of chocolate. Yes, all sexy looking, okay? But he's trying to make like he have a nice, nasty relationship for he uh, likes her for her works or whatever. But when did we go hidden below the belt? Man said her knees was ashy. <laughs> oh, no, her ankles was ashy. I'm like, now, wait a minute. Maybe so. It could have been true because Kenya probably took a little bath or a little shower. And she probably put some, I don't know, some products that don't really hold for the black skin. You need, you need that lubrication. You need some oil, either some baby oil or some Vaseline. You might be shining a little bit. You might have to get that uh, towel and dab, dab, dab here and there. But it gets away the ashy look, the dryness look. Cause that's all it is. It ain't ash, it's just dryness. Our skin needs black folks. We have melanin in us, and it has to have that moisture, or it will uh cloud up to like you see a film or something. All right, but that's just how we get down. So maybe Kenya just forgot to oil up a little better. She just wanted to shine on camera, but just have to call her ash. <laughs> I would say, well, you trash him. And if he would have kept on what I call joning back in my time period, y'all call it shading in y'all time period. But I call it joning. He would have been there and I would have just been getting upset. I would just say, yo, mama. <laughs> Every time he came out with a said, I would say, yo, mama, not your mother, but your mama. Okay, whatever. He said, you ugly. I was like, yo, mama. He was like, you stink. I was like, yo, mama. <laughs> been all night yo mama i was like somebody pick uh fix me up a little hand sign that says yo mama and every time you say something it'll be yo mama this yo mama that yo mama yo mama your mama and i'm pretty sure i would have struck a chord with him and he probably would have said i'm leaving the show <laughs> and i would say goodbye and tell yo mama i said hello okay that's how it would have been the whole night when he called me asher 
If I couldn't think of nothing else to say, I go up to my tried and true and say, yo, mama. <laughs> oh, Lord. Kia, you know you were raised by a black woman. I mean, she was hot yellow or whatnot or whatever you want to call it. She still was black. Huh? She knew how to do that. I think they call it jiving in my mother's age period. She, she was born in 39. So, you know, of course, she's 80. Uh, but they call that doing the dozen or uh, a joining, but we called it joining too. But I think it was called the dozens back then in the fifties and sixties. Uh, but that's all we would have been doing because you know the mama jokes hurt, uh, especially if you used you're not used to being picked at or whatever. You don't really know what it's all about. You could have a form of dislike or distaste where you want to pop somebody in the head or whatever for calling and saying your mama. Well, you know these folks don't know your mom now. It's, it's gonna be a different story if they broke bread with you, been in your house, been around your family. Then yeah, yeah, you be want to kick ass then. But when they don't really know your, they don't really know of you that much. They just know of you. They don't know you. Yeah, they can say anything under the sun, but. When you were young, that stuff just kind of set with you because you didn't have that type of uh, thinking or well-structured thinking back in the day when you was a child. But as you grew older, you had more experiences to partake within your life journey or living. Some of that stuff don't you know, run out. It, it just don't bother you anymore anymore because you know them folks don't know you half the time. You They know what you give them. And then you know they ain't never met your mama, so why should it even be an infraction? <laughs> Unless you just want to dig. And that's what I would have been doing to Mr. Michael Rapop. What do you call his name? Rapapapur? Or uh, Rapapur? Yeah, that's what it is. Rapapur. Port. Okay, but anyway, let's go on into this article, honey. Like I said, it was written by OK Magazine. And a lady by the name of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Naledi Ushi. Um, Go on OK Magazine if you want to get the proper spelling of her name. And then, because I, I know I just murdered her name. I'm so sorry. But we'll just call you N-U. New. We call you Miss New. Got up this uh, salacious story for today's headlines. It said, Michael Report doubles down after calling Kenya Moore's ankles ashy. She got racist. Well, I mean, she got racial. <laughs> I'm like, mm, now we're throwing a race, racial card in there? Honey, please. The lines are blurred. The lines are very blurred when you join and I'm playing the dozens or shading somebody. The lines are blurred. You're just trying to get it where it hurts so you can see them, you know, frown up or you can see them uneasy or you don't knock their head off their, their, uh, we don't knock the block. What do you like call it? You don't knock the head off their shoulders. Or you don't knock their block off or something like that. I'm trying to say, meaning you don't got to them. You don't stir up some anger up in them and they don't know how to hide it to keep you from noticing that they are disturbed about what you say okay yes all right but anyway the actor and bravo star have been feuding since 2016 so i thought i was right it was somewhere in the area i was thinking 15 but i was like okay if i say 2015 through 17 i'm not gonna say 16 so i was right Okay, but anyway, it says Michael Rapport is standing by his claims that Kenya Moore has ashy ankles. The actor, <coughs> excuse me, the actor and the Real Housewives of Atlanta star got into a huge fight on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in April of 2018. Okay, so maybe I have I wrong. Okay, well, it was 18 then. Okay, I'm wrong. It says during his appearance on the Wendy Williams show on October 16th. So that's how this story came back up in the uh, Lime Life. Because I know this story happened a while ago. Okay, I'm saying 2016, but it was 18. Okay. But uh, we ain't, ain't a bunch of shit. We ain't nothing but a bunch of shit. Okay, now why are you going to go drudge up something from the past? Just because it was salacious back then. You know, it ain't like he called her... You know, out of her, excuse me, out of her name, or he called her racial slur or something like that. He just said her feet were ash or her ankle were ash. You know, I could say, well, you smell, you stink, your mama. <laughs> I could have said that, but it was all in joning and fun because you shouldn't have made fun of my ashy ankles. Did nobody have to know my ashy ankles was on on uh, on point? Only you saw it. It wasn't no flat or uh, no camera. Uh, beaming down. That's all on Wendy Williams because she have you put on that couch and you wear some nice shoes or whatever. She wants to, you know, take a picture of it in your feet. So you know you got to be on point then. 
Uh, but watch what hand on um, watch what happens live. And they don't do no stuff like that. Okay, just probably be somewhat like uh from your belly up, you know. It depends on how you sit and what you got on, okay? Just long the facial features on fleek, as y'all like to say, but in my time we say it looking good on point, okay? But anyway. Going back to the article, it says um, the actor and the Real Housewives of Atlanta star got into a huge fight on Watch What Happened Live and Andy Cohen in April 2018 during his appearance on the Wendy Weary show on October 16th. Michael continued to diss Kenya for her feet and claimed she tried to start a racial argument. <laughs> yeah. I said, both of y'all need to uh, lead those racial slurs at home. Or, or, or outside of this venue, because we ain't got time for no racial war, honey. We want a little peace and good energy. All right, positive energy. I don't care if you're white, brown, black, blue, <coughs> green, tropical punch, raspberry. It doesn't matter just as long as you treat me right, okay? Like I'm a human being, which everybody, we shouldn't even have labels such as category categorizing us as black, white, age, and this, that, and the third. No, okay, that's the man's way of trying to tag us down to be able to differentiate between the cultures, okay? No, we're human beings. That's what we all should stand for and march on Washington about, okay? We shouldn't be uh separate, what we call it, have separatism up in here in these great United States of ours. Hell, we all human beings. We all bleed red blood. And then we don't start bleeding red blood. We start bleeding green blood. And then we got something to identify. Separation is a must. <laughs> okay? Call, <coughs> call the uh, National Guard. Hell, call the, the arm. Nope, call the Lord because time is ending up. And we start seeing green little people coming around here and they bleeding green blood. It's a problem. It's a problem. Okay, sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. That's what we would be talking about on my channel. But we have no evidence of that at this time, so we're going to keep uh, forging ahead, forging ahead, okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Wendy Williams brought up the WWHL, which stands for Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, fight with Kenya Moore. She was then 48. Mike was then 49. She flipped on you. See, Wendy already started in trouble. I'm, getting, I'm beginning to think what I've been hearing in the streets that Wendy thinks she's a white woman, Okay. I don't know what it is, but honey, you don't fit in the white world, and you sure don't fit in the black world half the time, so you need to watch yourself, okay? Because you might just be straddling out there uh, yonder for what's coming <coughs> before it's over with. Ain't nobody going to have you in their race, okay? Know who you are and what you are and stand accordingly, okay? But anyway, that's what she brought up. Ain't no good. When I told Wendy ain't no good. She's by herself and her ratings on her TV show, A Shit Starter, and she will always be A Shit Starter. But anyway... Uh, going on, he said she tried me, and and that's fine. He said before flirting, but before firing off insults about the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, I started talking about the fact that her ankles were ashy. When she tried me, I had to do it. Kenya's ankles are gravely, they they're sandy right now. <laughs> and then when he said that, I was at your mama. <laughs> I was so saying your mama. But anyway. Um, he, he said, I think she got upset because I looked at her and the characters all on the shows are, uh, characters. He continued, uh, she's a great antagonizer. She's the bad guy. Um, uh, Michael defended himself and said it wasn't a big deal, but because it was on watch what happens live and I'm a guy and she's a woman, she got racial and all that stuff. But I had to say, your ankles are still ashy. <laughs> Can you? She lost her composure there, cause honey, I would have said your mama. We've been going. He been saying other things about my body. And I was like your mama, you know. But see, can you? That's why I said she ain't seasoned yet, cause he couldn't have tried then he like that. Then he probably would have got on him, but said, you know, well, you got titties for a man. <laughs> oh hell, that's what I would have said. I'm like, honey, you got titties for a man. <laughs> Woo! But anyway, that's just me. That's how I would get down because you know, if you don't really know me, I don't have time for you to say whatever you feel that's coming out your mouth about me. Okay, now when you know me, you don't broke bread with me. You don't heard all my little uh, stories behind the scenes. This, that, that, third. You don't grew up with me pretty much in my lifetime. You know my family. We've been thick as thieves. Then you're gonna get an ass whooping. It ain't gonna be no more talking. We just gonna go somewhere where ain't no cameras. Ain't nobody gonna tell on each other. We just gonna go back with our black eyes, our scratches. We're gonna be swallowed, whatever. We're gonna like, oh, we fell down somewhere. Okay. Because we're gonna be we don't be them got in each other's asses, okay? And I'm talking about putting hands. But anyway, 
going back to the story, that's just how my life, how I get down, okay, with the people that I love. All right, but anyway, it says, regardless of their ongoing beef, he told Wendy 55, I'm happy she's coming back. She's got the baby. She's got the divorce papers. She's got a lot of things going on. And for me, as a housewife fan, their pain is our pleasure. It's, it makes for great TV. Now, he did, he, he kind of titled that somewhat true, but no, when a person is in pain and they show us, no, we kind of feel sorry for them. We come off our pedestals of judging them or making making them feel that they should have did this, should have did that. And we have a human side. If we don't, if we haven't never experienced it, we can provide them with empathy. Uh, sympathy is basically, we know what they've been through because we've been through it too. So we can't afford to give a person the benefit of a doubt and not chastise them so much when they're going through that period of time of adjustment for the negative, okay? So no, somebody else's pain is not my pleasure, Michael. And I would have said, your mama. <laughs> to that one and i'm gonna say your mama michael your mama okay uh that makes for great tv all right but then going back to the article it says michael and kenya's feud dates back to april 2016 they have to call kenya crazy and praise portia williams for fighting her in one episode the former miss america I mean, I'm sorry, Miss USA, clap back. You are pathetic and ignorant for promoting violence on any level. Please get a job to keep your cable to watch me every week. Okay. So, see, Ken, you had to do all that. All you had to do was say your mama, your aunt, your grandmama. You could have went all like that. Because you evidently you were clearly bothered when you start saying all these other things. So you never let nobody get you that involved in something that you know you're not. Okay, can't just get putting you up on game, baby. I know you didn't have a model, so I'm trying to tell you as much as I can in the few videos that I give you. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article says they came face to face two years ago after their Twitter beef. And neither of them was in a forgiving mood. Michael told the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, you wish you were me, Kenya. She dismissed him and said, a middle-aged, fat, white guy? No, thanks, you. And out of work? Now, I would have said, no, no, Michael Rapport. Uh, go talk to your mama. <laughs> I would say that again, again, and again. That would have been my tagline for all the years come until we made amends, till we gave each other olive branches. That would have been my staple for him. Y'all mama? Okay. But anyway, uh, let me see here. Where are we going? Where are we going with this? Lord of mercy. I've laughed so much. We can't get down with this white man, I tell you. <sighs> Instead of she's just looking at him as a man, tearing him down from the head. Down to the feet, okay? Because I'm sure if we would have took off them shoes, he would have had hammer toes that came from his mama. <laughs> okay, but anyway, going back. She continued to blast him and said, Michael, you do know the housewives are women, right? We're not giving out any peaches, okay? She trying to say, what? She, what is she trying to say? But anyway, they tried blew up and Michael told cameras, I didn't want to say it on live TV, but Ken's feet are ashy as F-U-C-K. Them... Uh, I wonder that he said shit or ashen. Sorry about that, y'all. He continued paying down to them shits. You can cut glass with them shits. I think I don't know what he's saying, but it's it's s and two little star things t s. That's why I, I think it's shits. But anyway. Uh, Wendy Williams, you know, if you go over to her show, you catch her commentary, you'll find all of that salacious story and video feeds, uh, pictures when it comes to, yeah, <laughs> how she positioned herself when she had on this, like, a white dress outfit, and can you know she need to have kept her legs down, that's too much eye candy to be showing the public, okay, Ooh, Kenya, your mama, your mama, she missed a lot in raising you, girl. She missed a lot because you should have been doing that kind of stuff. But anyway, she kind of put her feet up in an upward motion and, you know, trying to put it, hit her feet in uh, or her toes in front of the interface of Michael Rapport's, Rapport's face. Okay. But anyway, uh, somebody wrote a comment. I think it says Michael Rapport hits the purple couch and talks why. He doesn't use the N-word, jail time, his family life, and much more. Watch on Wendy Williams' show. Okay, yeah. So if you go to Wendy Williams' little, uh, she tweeted this off of her social media page, but I guess she wants you to come over, give her more viewing time on her show, and it'll show you 
the actual uh, TV interview she was doing with him. Or you may have caught, caught it yourself. So it is what it is. I don't too much care for when, because like I said, she be setting folks up like Andy Cohen. You never know what's going to come out of their mouth. And then you be sitting there on the spot thinking you should, you where you question yourself, should I answer that? Should I not answer that? They knew better than to ask me this question. But then if I don't answer, I look like a fool. You know, I don't have the type of questions going through your head. But if you be yourself, you be yourself. And you know folks coming for you. She was that mama. They're like, you show your mama, your mama, your mama this, your mama that, your mama where, your mama when, your mama how. <laughs> you just be a mama day, okay? Get them haters off your back. I don't care what color they come in or whether they, uh, whatever gender they uh, uh, call themselves uh, relating to. Okay. But anyway, that's all my story I had on um, Mr. Rappaport, Michael, and Miss Morg, as they call her Kenya Twirl. Yes, honey. Twirl still got a lot to learn on how to deal with individuals, period. But anyway, I got to go. I got to get set for another video. Hope y'all like this one. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's bring me up to that 10,000. Yes, before June 2020, okay? Because then we're going to have to have an all-out affair. Something like a barbecue feast. Maybe I could get it set at one of uh, Cynthia Bailey's event halls. But that's what I would be doing for you all, for ones who want to come in and pay a mission to sit down and talk with me, your very own girl. Y'all know if y'all look at me as your cousin, your aunt, your mama, you know, somebody favorite in the family that you know, just love to, you love to see every year at a cookout or whatnot. That's what we'll be doing. But I have to get to that 10,000, guys. I have to get to that 10,000. So continue to subscribe, 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 like, share, comment, on my videos, and then go take the poll that I put out every week um, from the previous week. I give you results of that upcoming week. So make sure y'all go over to my community feed page on my YouTube channel and take the poll. Let your voice be heard. Speak out on the subjects that you may not have a chance to speak out on, but I give you, I let you use my platform to voice your opinion because your opinion matters. I always remember that. Even when you're voting in those elections out there that they have for the presidential race or just in your local town, uh, uh, selecting your representatives to definitely support you and uh, stand for you when they go to Congress and try to pass these bills. Even we know they are full of shit. You know what I'm saying? They're only for themselves. They get up there, they t tell us lies when we are uh, trying to see what they have to say. Once we put the behinds up there in Washington, they forget where they came from, okay? But anyway, that was my spiel. That's my little coffee I poured on you all today. But again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Look forward to seeing you next video. All right. Bye-bye.